Yogananda and all these different Eastern teachers said that he had Christ consciousness. You know, they always use words like Christ consciousness, Christ this, Jesus that. Blessings family, this man's name here is Keith Green and he has an incredible testimony that I would like to show you of how he came to Jesus Christ and how he realized that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. It's a very logical testimony and a very intelligent way of realizing who Jesus Christ is that everybody should be aware of. So without any further ado, here is the testimony and then I would like to show you something that happened after Keith Green became Christian. Take a look. I searched with my whole heart and uh in all the Eastern religions and all the cults and all the world religions, they always gave some credit to Jesus Christ. The Muslims say that he was a, uh, a prophet. Uh, the Krishnas say that he was an incarnation of the Godhead in his age. Uh, Yogananda and all these different Eastern teachers said that he had Christ consciousness. You know, they always use words like Christ consciousness, Christ this, Jesus that. Uh, the Buddhists would even say he was a Buddha, you know, he was a another incarnation of God like Buddha was. And uh, in all my searchings, I, I saw that all these people were pointing to Jesus. They're going, well, yeah, Jesus is one of the ways, but we're one of the ways. And they wouldn't all agree on anything except that Jesus was one of the ways. And then I looked into the Bible in uh, John chapter 14, I think it is, or John chapter 6. Yeah, it's 6. Where he says, uh, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one gets to the Father but by me. So they all gave him credit, and he only gave himself credit. And I went, well, that kind of eliminates everybody. They all say he's cool, and, and he says he's the only one that's going to get you there, so I guess I'm safe. So I started praying to Jesus. I, I did this all through intellectual reasoning and laid it out on the table and figured it out that if they all gave him credit, and he only gave himself credit, and, and they all agreed on one thing, that he was one of the ways, and he, he only agreed that he was the only way. So I figured I had no choice but to go with him. So for all of you logical thinkers, for anybody who has been deceived by religion, understand that they all want to claim him for themselves. But Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. He denies all of the other religions and he says, I'm the only way. Now, Keith Green's life story is very interesting. Stay tuned to find out what happens after he became Christian. See, he was born on October the 21st, 1953 in Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn, New York. And he moved to Canoga Park, Los Angeles in 1957. And he became somebody who was very well known for his musical talent, even from a very young age. At 11, he signed a deal with Decca Records, making him the youngest member of the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers at the time. Now, initially, Decca Records aimed to mold Keith into a teen idol of some kind, featuring him in fan magazines and on TV shows. But despite his early promise, his stardom was eclipsed by other teen idols like Donny Osmond, which led him to being forgotten by the public. Now, his spiritual journey was very interesting and he went through many, many cycles. Here's some of them. Take a look. So I, I went the whole route of uh, the young people uh, today and especially then on the West Coast, you know, into the drugs and Eastern religion and meditations and yoga and and all these different things that uh, I figured were going to satisfy me. And, and they did for hours or days at a time. But then I'd always come down and, you know, go, well, that's, that didn't do it. Because I always knew that when I'd find true happiness and peace, it would last. And so you were just always searching, searching, oh, searching. Oh, crazy. Yeah. Until he found the truth, which is Jesus Christ, as you saw earlier. Now, his spiritual journey is very interesting because he was actually brought up around the teachings of Jesus Christ, but they were warped and distorted as he states here. I was brought up with like the teachings of Jesus plus the teachings of metaphysics and different things and all kind of mixed together in a blender kind of a thing. And It wasn't until December 1972 where Keith Green decided to give his life to Jesus Christ and a significant shift occurred in spring of 1975 when his wife Melody attended Bible study studies led by Pastor Ken Gullickson of Vineyard Christian Fellowship, marking their true conversion into Christianity. And after his conversion into the truth, he actually transitioned from secular music into creating Christian music and releasing several Christian albums between 1977 and 1982. He became very well known for his contemporary Christian music and his strong devotion to Christianity, with notable songs like There is a Redeemer and Oh Lord, You're Beautiful. His music, faith and life continue to inspire many, making a lasting impact on contemporary Christian music. Now, this is where things take a very strange and sad turn. On July the 28th, 1982, 
Keith Green tragically passed away in a plane crash, but his legacy lives on through his music and the lives that he touched by his testimony of Jesus Christ. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you do hit that thumbs up button and share it with somebody else who may enjoy this testimony. Subscribe if you haven't already done so and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. I greatly appreciate you all and I pray you all have a beautiful day. May the Most High Yah shine his face upon you always and give you peace. And I'll see you on the next one. Shalom, shalom.